Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Um, last time we distracted the Red Cogent while the Confederacy drove out the Galleons from this town. And as we just were busy distracting those Cogent, suddenly a primal popped in and said, Yay! Let's have fun. I didn't follow you, did we? I gave you enough time to escape. Got to hear myself not act with you with my chief for desired effect. You needn't worry, by the way. I'm not intending to make a habit of this. I don't see any soldiers. Do you think the cord has fed us we them off? I believe that, yes. Something definitely happened here. I see several people who look like they might be injured. Let's give them a hand and find out what we missed. Hmm? Do I need help? Oh, I'll be fine. It's nothing that won't heal. You should go after Lee's. Well, at least my, at least Serenia thinks about Alize. Because I had forgotten her as well. Stupefied Senior. Thank you, my child. When the fighting started, I tried to run and hide, but fell and could not regain my feet. I thought for sure that we would be all be slaughtered, but the pirates drove them off. I never thought I would see the day when the Confederacy came to our aid. Nope. Let's go around then. You alright? Ah! Oh, you're not an Imperial. Is... Is it over? Seems so, right? Kami be praised. I was certain she would have us all killed and burn Isari to the ground, or kill us after making us watch, or barricade us in our homes before putting them to the torch. Honestly, that sounds like something Yotsi would do. Hmm. Not falling down yet. I remember you. You were one who saved me from the dormant catchers. Thank you. We managed to rescue the fisherman and my kidnapped comrade. My kidnapped comrades, one of whom joined the Confederacy with me long ago. It would have broke my heart to have to bury him. Oh, and if you're looking for the captain, you find him in the tavern. already? What have you learned? At the tavern, you say? In that case, we should find Lee's and speak with him together. My Eorzean friends. Saw the smoke, did you? A pity you did not come sooner, though I gather you were busy elsewhere. Yeah. Gazetsu! You're alive. You're all alive. And full of vim and vigor. <laughs> did I not tell you I was no stranger to chains? The fighting cannot have lasted long. Where are all the Imperials? 
fled. They stood their ground for a time, until it became clear that their Korjin reinforcements would not be coming. We took some few casualties, but my deeper regret is having let Yotsuyu slip through my fingers. That bodyguard of hers may be a half-wit, but he's a mean bastard on the battlefield. Damn. In any event, I imagine all involved are satisfied with this outcome. So far as the Empire is concerned, the Confederacy attacked Asari in retaliation for the Viceroy's actions. And without the aid of insurrectionists, I might add. Suffice it to say, we are prepared to be the subject of their undivided attention for the foreseeable future. Thomas shall be free. With this, we swear. <laughs> An impossible claim, yet one spoken with such conviction that I cannot choose but believe it. Your assistance would be most welcome. Nevertheless, we shall do our utmost to spare you undue danger. We are already in your debt. Nay, little miss, all debts are paid. For by your deeds, many still live who elsewise would not. Let both parties count their blessings, and may fortune continue to favor us all. You still seek to bring freedom to our people, then? You will go to Yansha. I have faith that our allies yet live. Once we have found them, we will plan our next step. Yansha was the crucible of the rebellion. What happened here pales in comparison to what Yotsuyo did there. Remember this. Fear changes men. Have care in whom you place your trust. And with that, we must take our wounded home. Oh, your shellback friend sends his regards and looks forward to your next meeting. Try not to die before then, eh? I will do my best. Okay, can't continue that yet. <laughs> A silence and three parts. Though he's less than a picture of perfect health, Cosette was ready to resume his journey. You did well, Serenia. Were it not for the tremendous strength and bravery of you and yours, many innocent souls would have suffered terrible fates. Though I knew the Confederacy would be loath to meet the Imperials in battle, I also knew that if any could win them over, it would be you. Truly, yours is a heroic spirit that inspires men to rise above their circumstances, to strive for something greater. It will be an honor to travel with you again. Now then, let us not squander the Confederacy's gift. Yansha and my countrymen await. There's a tunnel to the southwest. We need but follow it to reach our destination. With me. Mm, 
this symbol marks uh, beast tribes, so not today. Meanwhile, on the shores of Offert, we cannot rest here for long. This place is not safe. Mayhap no worries, if thieves can breach our vaults. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect these treasures, and we shall not fail for want of effort. So, this is why you abandoned your posts, and without a word of explanation at that. Rather thoughtless of you, was it not? Lady Yotsuyo, pray forgive us our absence, but our home was under attack, our vaults plundered by outsiders. Did you even pause to consider the possibility that it might be a diversion? What is the point of contracting your services if you are not here when they are required? It is my solemn charge to bring these vermin to heal. To torment them, body and soul, until all they hold dear is as bitter ashes in their mouths. And then you go and ruin everything! Well, there's naught to be gained in belaboring the point. All that remains is to administer your punishment. Wait, my lady! No. No, it's no good. There's just no joy in it. No release. Wow. She is hateful. There... there needs to be some investment. There were negligent imbeciles deserving of punishment, but it was hardly personal. Ten thousand such caution could not satisfy me half so well as a single dollar. One of the vaunted treasures of the Red? The craftsmanship is certainly impressive. Mayhap we can use it to make amends. How long before Lord Xenos reinstates me, do you reckon? I've got unfinished business back in Eorzea. Serving me really so unbearable. At least pretend to enjoy, you witless lump. Then don't make it so hot on him. If you are so desperate to earn a way back to Eorzea, then be quiet and do as you're told. And bring that sword while you're at it.
Motherfucker. I remember the silence. How the talking stopped when we first set foot on the plains of Yansha. Before us stood yet another wall. And through a great Magitek field, we glimpsed Doma Castle. I'll never forget the sight, or the anger I felt that day. Life, liberty, hope. So much lost, so much taken. As we walked through that war-torn land, no one said a word. We will make it better. There's a weariness, a desolation, an emptiness. This place, I don't know what I expected. Oh, yes, this is far enough. Ere we proceed further, I should speak of Yansha and what became of her, of what lies beyond that great wall at the heart of Doma. We should be glad <coughs> we should be glad to hear it, but is it wise for us to have this conversation here on the road, out in the open? Once your caution would be warranted, but no longer. Zenith did not linger after he crushed the rebellion. He appointed Yotsuyu to act in his stead and quit these lands for fresh sport. The acting viceroy was no less merciless than her master. Without warning, her men would march into villages and search for radical elements, killing and torturing any who dared resist. And then, as quickly as they came, they left. Satisfied that the memory of her purchase would keep the people in line, she relaxed her grip on Yansha. What need for the lash? lash? The dog is broken. The village of Namai lies to the rest. Though I doubt the Imperials are present, let us proceed with caution. Tiger? Hello, old man. The drunken toad was made using power from our old riverboat. It carries rice to us to make alcohol up and down the river. That's where the name comes from. Uh, there is a fate. And one with extra experience, so let's try that. If we can. Tigers.
Na gut. I couldn't finish it in time, but... Ow. Leave me in peace, Tiger. Since fate have a participation reward, it was still worth it, experience-wise. Yes, the humble village of Namai. How delicious her eyes, how sweet her persimmons. Too long has it been since I saw her with my own eyes. And for mercy, the Imperials appear to be absent. Let no man claim that I was reckless. Prudence has ever been my watchword. So Enya, venture closer if you would and confirm there are no soldiers lurking about. We may be in luck. I don't see a single Imperial soldier. Then there is no need to remain hidden. Let us go and greet them as friends. That won't work. I believe. Remember what Russia said. I'm going to. Good people of Namai, hearken to me. We come in peace and desire only information to learn of recent events. Isn't it a general? General? Lord Gorset, sir. Can't be preserved, you're right. He lives. I say, brothers and sisters, is all to miss? Why do you regard me as one with a wild beast? Why is there fear in your eyes? Why do you tremble so? Ah, but of course. You fear me, a vengeful spirit of the dead. Rest assured, naught could be further from the truth. For am I not corporeal? Are my feet not firmly set upon the ground? <laughs> they are afraid of being punished for you simply, simply for you being here. What should we do? If they catch him here, you know what will happen. Mm. Oh, what a times for him to turn up. Has the old fool lost his mind? You! But... Why have you come here? What do you want from us? I know not who you are to speak thus to your elders, boy. But mine only desire is to be received with the hospitality owed a humble traveller, not the fear and trepidation one might afford a wrathful Shay. What? What are you going on about? Actually, never mind. Just come with me. Now!
I do not understand. Was it not clear that we wish to remain a while? I don't know who you people think you are, but do you know, have any idea what would happen to us if we were found in our village? Again, you are dressed as with unwanted spite. I have let your property pass until now, but no longer. Who are you, boy, to speak to me thus? Know you not who I am? I am Isai of Anamai, a farmer like my father before me and his father before him. I wouldn't expect a man like you to know who I am, but I know you. We all do. Lord Cayenne's retainer and leader of a rebellion, Gosetsu. Notorious fugitive wanted dead or alive by the Empire. <laughs> Is that what it's all about? I'm hardly the first man to earn the eye of the Empire, nor will I be the last. Was not my home to brave and true warriors who fought beneath our banners for king and country? They fought and they died, every last one, and then the Imperials came looking for more. Because of them. They were this close to killing us all, to burning our village to the ground. We've only just begun to enjoy some resemblance of peace. Never again. Never again, do you understand? We've had enough of you and yours. Whatever it is you're plotting, leave us out of it. Huh. Impassioned as his pleas may be, surely he must know he cannot leave things as they are. But for now, I shall respect his wishes. We must continue onward to our final destination. The House of the Fierce. Proud headquarters for Dome and Liberation Front. There's a secret entrance to the north of Namai, by way of a small spring. Come, I'll show you. Okay, but I might want to have that etherite first. I was thinking how swimming days were behind us. This way, this way. We must dive into the water. Have no fear, Serenia. It is but a short distance. You need not hold your breath for long. Or rather, thanks to the blessing of a coach, not at all. Being a troll and pulling the fishing line? <laughs> no, better not. Considering this is a secret entrance, we don't want it to be too known. How invigorating! Congratulations, my friends. You have come to the House of the Fierce. Okay, but I think I end the episode simply here in front of the House of the Fierce. Um, maybe a short rest from the main quest for now. 
and we come back to it in one or in one or two episodes. And anyway, until next time, I'm Mace, and don't get lost. <laughs>